Now that's a bodyguard. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Kingdom Titan Class Autobot Arc. So here we are. And there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. As you can see, it's a very large box for a very big box. But you can see right up front, we have some lovely artwork here. Oh, the Ark, you got Megatron all like, hey, can we talk about this? Can we just, can we discuss this like civilized people? Maybe, please. Uh, but anyway, you got some nice artwork going on there on this side of the box you have the lovely kingdom artwork on the other side of the box you just have the rest of this picture here's a titan class a classic titan a titan class a classic titan a classic teeth ah, it's been a while since we've gotten some teeth ah on the top we got some more stuff going on here some more things and stuff and stuff and things black arachnia is not having a good time air razor autobot symbol on the bottom you just have words things, barcodes, and on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots. It does this at the other things and stuff and stuff and things and that's basically it for the packaging. And you also get the card slash sticker and I got uh, another Dinobot because I don't have enough freaking Dinobots. But there's Dinobot. Here, peel off the sticker. There's Dinobot and some others. Hooray, I have about 50 of these already. Hooray for cards and stickers. And moving right along, here we have the Ark, and this is our big boy for the year. And yes, here we have the, uh, the Autobot ship in all of its glory. He's pretty big. He's a big boy. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. A lot of detail going on here. It's a nice transclear plastic there for the uh, cockpit section. You got guns. You got some, you know, kind of some... Damage going on there. You got some nice metallic blues. You got guns and more guns. Look at all those guns. Again, lots of nice multi detail. Big Autobot symbols. More guns because you need more guns. We have that section right back here as well. And on the back, we have the big quadruple thrusters here with some blue highlights in there. That looks pretty good. And more guns, and more guns, and just, again, yeah. lots of detail, lots of guns, but looks quite, quite good. And let me just tilt up a little bit so I can show you the bottom. And here we have the bottom again, lots of detail. We got some bits of silver in there, some more of that metallic blues. You can see the landing gears, and all of that good stuff. And guess what? He does slide. He slides as giant flying things should slide. He's kind of heavy, so it's not too much sliding, but you know, you get the idea. But <laughs> there you have that. And for some quick comparisons here, uh, here he is with Skylinks. As you can see, how uh, that works out. And here he is with the uh, core class. Prime, again, so you can kind of get a sense of scale there. He's a little guy, little guy. So, there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, um, there are some accessories that are stored inside the Ark itself. So we'll get to that in a little bit, but we do get some, uh, we get some blushes. That's right, we get some new blushes. Oh, they're kind of a, a blue green blush. They look quite nice, quite nice. So now I have more blushes. I have more blushing power. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Um, and he does have some blush points on the ship. You have some blush points right here. So you can plug some blushes right there and get blushed. Um, the, the guns, you can plug the blushes onto them, but honestly, the barrels are a little too thick and they kind of stretch the blushes out. And I don't like stretching out my blushes. I don't want to stretch my blushes. Just don't want to do it. So I'm not going to. You can just I don't I don't I don't I don't want to stretch them out. I just like that. Not a fan of stretching my blushes. I like to keep my blushes unstretched. But you can also, if you want, we can turn it around and we can plug these 
onto the thrusters. Of course, we only have two and there are four thrusters, but luckily we have more blushes. That's right, we have more blushes. So, you know, get a little multicolored deal going on here. Hey, why not? Dare I say, why not? You stay in, you stay in because it's normal. There we go. You can get that going. Hooray, hooray for blushing. It can bloosh. It can bloosh off into the cosmos and then crash violently into a mountain. Lovely, <laughs> lovely indeed. But hey, all things you can do if you want to do it. Now, as far as some uh, play features go, uh, we can come right down here and you have this little gray switch right here. And if you pull it up, boop, you get a little ramp that comes down. That's pretty cool. You just let that in place and boop. I like that. This little spring loaded ramp in there. And I quite dig that. Um, little Prime, um, you can, I, I, I have been able to kind of get him up and in there and get this closed up. It is doable, but it just, he ends up getting kind of stuck too. So it's doable, but it takes a little bit of a, little bit of fiddling, a little bit of finagling to get him in there, but eh, it's kind of doable, but you know, hey, things you can do. If you want to try to do it, let me just close that back up. But now we'll turn this big boy around because we need to focus on this front section here. So what you want to do here is you want to just, you have these little panels here, just kind of clip in. So just pull them up or pull them down rather. Pull them down to unclip them. And then you take this nose section here and just kind of bring that down. You can see it, hey, there's his head right there. And what you can do now is you can just grab this and pull all of this up, open this up. And we can see now the little, little command center there in the arc, and we can pull this whole section out. And if you want to, you know, you can, you have that little gap there, now you can drop a robot in there, have a pilot, piloting it if you want to, hey? Eh? Things you can do if you want to do it. And I can close all this back up, snap everything back into place. And we will focus on the section right here. Here, and we'll get in close so we can look at the details. See this little command center? It's got a little bit of paint right there. We do have this transclearance yellow piece. I think this is Vector Sigma. Is this supposed to be Vector Sigma? Probably Vector Sigma, I'm not sure. But get the little piece right there. And you also have a tiny, 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 it's also tiny, a little, a little Optimus Prime, just painted red. And yes, this will go with the uh, the Galvatron and the Erotimus Prime that came with Unicron. It's the same size. You can plug it in the stand with them if you want to. But yeah, just a little, little tiny baby Prime. And he just dabs in right there. So he can command. So he can command and give orders. And tell the troops that we need a little Energon and a lot of luck. And you know, you can plug them onto any of these stations as well you know slot there slot there slot there so you can have him you know pretty much manning a station you want or have Ronimus and galvatron in there as well you can do what you want hey if you have those other tiny little dudes you can plug them in there as well now this bit itself can transform so let's get down to transformation shall we <laughs> oh geez sorry so we can transform all of this right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take these sections here, just untab them and bring this down. This will be his legs. Then you rotate the waist around, split the legs. You want to just unclip this section right here. Just bring that out. That will give you the clearance to turn his feet around and then just clip that right back in. Same thing on the other side. Just unclip that, rotate his foot, clip that back in. And there you have the lower body all done. And now we move on to the upper body. Just bring the arms out. This whole back section here, you just want to bring down that double hinge, just kind of angle him forward a little bit so you have some extra clearance. You can just pull up his head, turn it around, and then this will just collapse down the rest of the way to make his back. And once you have done that, you're just gonna take these sections here, Angle it down so you can bring out his fist, close it back up, rotates, bring it down, second fist just like the first, just bring that down, 
bring out the fist, close it up, rotate, down, and there you go. There you have mainframe in his robot mode. And that's really cool that we get an extra little bot here with the arc. I dig it, I dig it. Let's get in close here and uh, I just chest at the noggin. There's the noggin. You can see, just done with that yellow, with the gray, nice yellow visor, back of his head. That's some light piping there. It does work pretty well. We got the silver in the chest, Autobot symbol right there as well. You got some tamper graph details there. On the forearms, on the legs, his feet, his big old shins. <laughs> and he's got this old this panel, this old command center basically, just right here hanging off his back. Prime's like, what's going on? I don't know, man. I'm sorry. Don't know what to tell you there, dude. But there you have that. Now, articulation wise, on the head can rotate and do a full 360, and that's pretty much it. Arms can rotate. They could do a full 360. You have to kind of work around that that back panel but you know you can you can make it work you have outward movement there at the shoulders you have bicep rotation you have 90 degrees of bend at the elbow uh, you just have downward movement on the wrist due to transformation he has waist rotation it's there it's just quite snug on mine the legs can move forward that far back only that far before the backpack gets in the way outward you can do the full splits and then some you have thigh rotation you have 90 degrees of bend at the knee and the feet. Um, they cannot move up or down, but you do have rotation and you have lots of ankle tiltage. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the Core Class Prime. Just so you can see how that works out. Here he is with the Leader Class Prime. And just because here he is with uh, Scorpinox Headmaster, as you can see how that works out. So, there you go. But that's not all Mainframe can do. No, we're not done with him yet because he has one more transformation we can do here. So, let's get started with that. So, I'm not going to spin him again. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to torture the boy. But what we're going to do here is we are going to just bring his arms up. We're going to open up this back section here again and turn his head around. Put it back in and just bring this back up to its original position, like so. Then we're going to come down to the legs and we're going to actually first we're going to rotate them at the waist. And now we'll come down to the legs, unclip this, and just unfold all of this, like so. Take the foot and just swing it to the side. And we're done there. And same thing on the other side, just open all this up, swing the foot to the side. Lift the legs together. There you go. So now we're going to bend the legs up and you can see this will just connect right up in there. Like so. Oops, that, oops, I dropped Prime. Where did Prime go? Prime! Prime! Sorry, buddy. Sorry. What happened? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just stay there. Okay, so once we've done that, what we can do here is we can open this panel and bring this out to the side open this panel bring that we'll talk about that in a little bit bring that out to the side like so oops they're falling out there you then you want to come in here you got these panels that will come up and line up with this and there's a little tab that has to sit over so just kind of line everything up like that and same thing on the other side just bring that up and just get everything all lined up with the grooves and the tabs and all that good stuff. And there we go. And we're at the home stretch here. So last thing we need to do is take these arm sections here. You want to bring them up and then rotate the arm at the bicep. Rotate this down. You got a tab that will go into the slot right here and then this tab will go up in here. So just get all this lined up and tab all this together like so just get that straightened out put the hand in there you go same thing on the other side second vest second vest just bring that up and in 
line all this up and get all this in place. There we go. Get everything straightened out. And there you go. And now we have Teletran 1. And that's really cool that we actually have a transformable Teletran 1. I dig it. I dig it. We're well, getting close here so we can take a look at the details. Lots of detail going on there. Quite nice. Got the panels there. See the arc. Like the Sigma. Planet Matrix. So cool, we got some readouts and whatnot. Nicely done. Nicely done. And there's the back, you guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna. <laughs> just this weird pose there. Well, we can see some extra goodies that are stored back here. We can remove this little dude. He's just pegged in, flip these down, and he can go scan some alt modes. Yeah, no. So you're just done in silver. Uh, would be nice if there was a post on this. You can kind of just kind of plug it on the top of. I mean, it'll it'll stay there, but you know, it's not very stable. Would have been nice if there was just a little post you can just kind of plug that onto or something, but that's fine. But you got that, and also stored back here we have some golden discs. Oh yes, we have some golden discs, and you can see nice detail there. Cool, we get two of them. But yeah, very cool. You got your golden discs right here. I like it. So you got some cool little accessories that you can play with as well. And again, just for a sense of scale, uh, here it is with the leader, the leader class prime. Or the core class prime. I think it works a lot better with the core class prime. This is definitely meant more to go with the core class figures than anything else. But, yeah, I think that works out quite well with your core class figures. But there you have Teletrain 1. That's cool. All right, so now it's time for the main event of the evening, transforming the arc into robot mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> he doesn't really spin. He's big. He's big. All right, first thing we need to do is right up top here. You have this panel. Open that up. Take this whole section, unclip it, flip it down, close that up, and there you go. Um, next thing you want to do is you want to come here to the snow section. Just gonna undo that and loosen that up. We can stand this up now. Take these landing gears, push them in, and come up here and push that in. This section right here will just come down. It'll clip in right there, and you have these two little tabs on either side, which will go into these little slots right up in here. Just get in there, give it a good push, and give it a good push. Tab that in, that secures that in place. And uh, there we go. Now we can see him. Hi, how are you? So now, um, again, you want to come back here and just undo these little sections here. Just unclip those, and that will allow you to take all this and bring it up. Uh, while we're here, we can take these panels, rotate them around, flip this in like so. We can bring this up, and while we're here, we can take these sections here, fold that in, fold that in, fold that in, fold that in. There you go. We're going to leave that like that for now, and now we will work on the armular region. So just grab this, bring it up, it will thoop into place, then bring it back, and that will click into place right there, lock it in, rotate the shoulder around, come here to his hands, and this is pretty cool, as you pull his hands down, it will pull out this panel to fill in that gap. And that's really cool how that works. And once you've done that, you just extend the arm down and then just rotate at the bicep, rotate the hand around so everything is oriented properly. And there you have an arm all done. Second fast, guess what? Just like the fast. A lot of ratchets on this guy, have you noticed? A lot of clickety clackety. 
Not a clackety clickety. So bring that out, lock that in. Rotate. Bring down the hand. Clickety clackety. Undo all this. Clickety clackety. Clickety clackety. And clickety clackety. And there you have the arms all done. And once you've done that, we can bring this whole chest piece down. These little these side sections here just kind of kind of thoop into place here. And this section fights me a bit because you have these these little pads right here. It's supposed to go right up in here, and they do go in. It just up. Oh. <laughs> I say it fights me and then it goes right in. That's actually the easiest I've ever done that. Any other time that's fought me. There you go. That's what you want happening there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for cooperating. <laughs> Any other time it's fought me. This time just went right in. Okay, cool. Cool, I'll take it. I'm here for it. I'm a fan. Okay. So now you can see we have kind of a uh, half man, half arc thing going on here. You can leave it like that. That could be, you know, secret third mode or something. I don't know, but all right, we're gonna lay him down so we can do the legular region here. So all you're gonna do is just take this, this is just split in half and more ratchets. You can extend the legs. And also just like the arms, as you extend the legs, you have these panels here which will extend and fill in that gap, which is quite cool. And then you come here, flip out the stove, then you're going to rotate the leg around like that. Now you have leg all done, second vest, guess what, just like the vest. Open it up, boop. Come in here, flip out his toesies, rotate his legsies, and now you can just bring all that in. And now we can get him standing, get him vertical, get him mobile here. And now as you can see, his, uh, his waist is all turned around. So basically, just get everything facing the right way. Turn the waist around. Bring the arms down. And boom! And there you have the Ark in his robot mode. And he's a big boy. He is a big, big boy right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Quite cool. Quite, quite cool. So let's get him over here and take a look, not at his chest, at his noggin. Where is it? There's the noggin. You can see, very Autobot symbol -y noggin going on there but nicely done got some nice over there for the face you got light piping there for the eyes it's nice glow a nice orange i got a little bit i got a little bit of paint chipping going on up there unfortunately it's okay but you got some nice little bits of yellow in there as well i mean detailing wise there's not a whole lot new that gets revealed um one thing about these guns too to note is that the uh these these turrets they don't they don't move at all they're molded in place they don't rotate unfortunately would have been nice if you could move them around but no i can tell you got some big autobot symbols there on his shoulders some detail in there let's see big old arms and yeah, big old hands a big old waist. Actually, that's kind of a skinny waist. <laughs> he's slim. He's a slim guy. He's tall, but slim. Kind of an Autobot symbol -y crotch going on there, too. That's a little awkward, but anyway. Got some bits of silver there in the hips. Lots of detail going on there. And a lot of stuff we already saw there in the ship mode. He's got toes now. Big old toesies. And moving up the back. Again, love how these panels get pulled out to fill in those gaps there. That's quite cool. And they have some good detail going on. And the arc booty. Again, love those filler panels there for the forms as well. Love how that works. Detail there in the back. It's a clean transformation. You just get the uh, the nose of the ship just ends up on his back. But other than that, it's a nice, uh, nice clean transformation now articulation wise of the head just rotates do a full 360 and that's all you get there the shoulders can rotate lots of ratcheting 
much ratcheting. You can do a full 360. Okay, moving it out. A lot. More ratchets. Bicep rotation. Again, more ratchets. As far as the elbows, more ratchets. You get over 90 degrees of bend there. As far as the wrists, ratchets. More ratchets. Uh, the hands can open and close. Uh, the thumb just moves in and out. The fingers are all one piece. They just move in and out. Um, almost seems like the thumb was supposed to be on a ratchet because you can see the, the grooves there. That's weird. You got that going on. The waist. You got waist rotation. It's on a ratchet. Go figure. Now as far as the legular region. Legs can move forward. A lot. You can get them moving. You can get them doing high kicks there. Just takes a bit of doing. But they can move up quite far. Back. You can get up very far as well. You can pretty much kick himself in the back of the head. More ratchets. More ratchets. Our movement. We can do the splits and then some with ratchets. Lots of ratchets. Thigh rotation. Ratchets. So many ratchets. Knees. You got over 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. With what? Lots of knee bend. With what? More ratchets. So many ratchets. And the feet. Toes can move down if you need them to. No ratchets there. And you just get a little bit of ankle tiltage. Ratchetless ankle tiltage. And now we're down here at the shins because you know what? We're going to make this happen. We're going to make it happen. That's right. Blushing. Oh, we're going to make it happen. We got the blushes. We have, we have the blushing. We have the power. We can do this. We can make this happen. Why not? Dare I say why not? Hey. Hey, I'm here for it. I am here for it. I am a fan. I am ready. There you go. We can do a big old quadruple shin. Bloosh! They're mighty shins. Mighty, powerful shins. So there you have that. And now for comparison. There he is with Skylinks, since we saw him before. So you can see how that works out. Oh, it's like it's, it's like it's his pet. Oh, that's precious. Like you want to put a little leash on him, and oh, you can take him for a walk. You can take him for a walk. Here he is with the uh, leader class prime, and he's a, he's a little guy, just a little guy. Here he is with the core class prime, and he's just a littler guy, a much littler, littler, smaller guy. And here he is with mainframe. You can see how that works out again, a little guy. And also a note, if you want to leave mainframe in the Ark's chest, you totally can do so. You don't have to take him out if you don't want to. You can totally leave him in the chest and transform him just fine. And with some other Titan boys, here he is with Omega Supreme. With Scorponok. How does he scale with Metroplex? Here is how he scales with Metroplex. And here he is with Devastator. And here he is with Trypticon. And here is how he scales with the little tiny baby Optimus Prime. So there you go. So there you have the ARC, and yeah, I really like him. Um, it's cool to finally have a proper ARC and a transformable one at that. Just really cool. Um, you know, the, the ship mode looks great. The robot mode, I think, looks great. Um, it's cool that we get uh, mainframe, which not only is, you know, kind of the uh, command center for the ship, but also becomes Teletran 1. I think that's a really cool feature. 
a lot of fun to be had with all of this, and I am I'm quite pleased with it. Quite, quite pleased. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Kingdom figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Kingdom playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Kingdom a Titan Class Autobot Arc. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud. Home in your face! Hey there, little buddy. We had a nasty little crash back there, huh? You doing all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Okay, good, 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 good. Well, listen, um, for future reference, you're supposed to rise, not crash. Thanks for the tip. I'll, uh... Try to be better about that the next time I'm being shot at. Yeah, cool. And next time I'll know what dead weight to jettison. <laughs> <laughs>